I'm Gavin Twin Tobacco. This is Garrett, my colleague in crime. And today colleague I'm smoking. In crime? Yeah. Partner in crime. Colleague please. in crime. Come on. It's, it sounds better. It's got the, you know, the C and the C. Yeah, but it's not a phrase. <laughs> I just made it. Mine's better. <laughs> You just started looking at cigars, but they got all these silly names. What's a Robusto? What's a Toro? What's a Churchill? Petite Corona? Too many things to figure out, but guess what? We're going we're gonna to get you settled. Yeah, I remember when I was first getting into cigars, going into a cigar lounge, I definitely got a little bit of anxiety, and I felt like I didn't belong there, and I should probably just leave immediately without any questions before I embarrass myself. Hopefully... This video will get you sorted with some basic information about cigar shapes so that you walk into a cigar shop like a pro. There's two different categories. There's the Parejo, which means it's the just generalized basic shape of a cigar with caps at the back and a flat foot. It's the most typical sh cigar shape. Then there's the Figurado, any cigar that doesn't fall in the basic uh, Parejo shape. Garrett right now is smoking a Parejo and I'm smoking a Figurado because his is a very typical shape. Whereas well, mine is a Figurado because it had a, a tapered foot. Silly motorcycles. He's, I what think is he doing? U -turns he's just doing U-turns out in front of your house. Disclaimer, there's many different cigar shapes, but we're only tackling the most popular ones. The first one on our list we're gonna talk about is a Petite Corona. Typically is four and a half inches by 42 ring gauge. They're all gonna have a little bit of wiggle room. They call this the Hemingway short story. Uh, this is about a petite Corona size, quite thin uh, ring gauge as well as a short cigar. So this will probably go for about maybe 45 minutes to an hour max. Moving on to our next cigar shape, the Gordito. We don't have one right in front of us, but we'll throw up a picture for you. Typically, you're gonna see a popular line of Gordito cigars called the Nub. They're like a Gordo in the fact that they're very thick, be 60, 65 There's, ring gauge, yeah. but they're very, very short. That's why they're called the Gordito instead of the Gordo. If you want a short cigar smoke time, but you want a fat cigar ring gauge, like maybe you like the mouthfeel of a fat ring gauge, then the Gordito would be perfect for you. Next, and this is probably the most common, and that's the Robusto, five inches by 50 ring gauge. Sometimes you see a Robusto that is 50 ring gauge by five and a half inches. Again, like all of these, there's gonna be some wiggle room. A Robusto typically will last, what do you think, an hour 15, hour 30? Some blends burn a little bit faster than others, but typically, yeah. Up next, we have a Corona, 5.25 inches long, but then the ring gauge drops down from 50 to 42. Think of it as a Robusto, but a little bit thinner. We don't have one here because it's not a very common size. Okay, so moving on up the scale, a Toro. Typically a Toro is six inches long by 50 ring gauge. Toro size is a great smoke if you want an hour and a half smoke time, it's a sweet spot. Moving up further, we have the Gordo, six inches long by 60 ring gauge. So we're getting back to that chunky nub size, except for instead of being short and stout, it's long and stout. I've smoked one Gordo that was two hours and 45 minutes. If you pull out a Gordo when you're in your local you know, bar and everyone's smoking, people are gonna think, whoa, that's aggressive. That's like a patent cigar. Like, yeah. I'm not just smoking a cigar. I'm making a statement. Another very popular shape, and what we are smoking today, Churchill. Churchill, as you know, comes from the famous British leader, Winston Churchill, who is quite the cigar connoisseur. They're very long, but then with the thin ring gauge. Another shape that we could talk about is the Lancero. It's typically seven and a half inches long, so it's very long but it's actually got a very small ring gauge at like 40, 42. If you really like thin cigars and you really want that long Coella de Vil look without the cigarette holder, <laughs> then that's your cigar. Uh, cigar Vixen, she's a popular personality in the cigar world. Her favorite size is the Lancero. Now there was one more cigar shape that I actually did have in my humidor, but I didn't bring. I have a Super Gordo. It is the most obnoxious and huge cigar I've ever personally had. I got it in like a sampler pack. And the only reason why I didn't bring it is because there's no way to transport it here without messing it up. I have to come over to Gavin's house. Doesn't fit in my three finger case. Like I'd have to literally put, bring my whole backpack just to carry this freaking cigar. 
Uh, so, if, <laughs> so if the Gordo is the lifted truck, then the Super Gordo would be the monster truck. I took some photos uh, of the Super Gordo next to this cigar before coming here, so to compare sizes. I don't know when I'm going to smoke it because there's no occasion where I need to smoke that big of a cigar. Now that we covered the sizes and smoke times, let's talk about the different shapes and the reasons for them. First of all, let's talk about a box press. The industry says there's a box press is to change the flavor profile by compacting all four sides. It condenses the, the packing and therefore condenses the flavor. That's at least what they say. Another common reason why there's a box press. People don't want the cigars rolling around. And then thirdly is the mouthfeel. So it's a very comfortable clenching experience when it's flat on the top and the bottom. You're supposed to clench a cigar with your teeth and then wrap your lips around it. But if you're clenching your teeth on a round surface, you're gonna have less points of contact than if you're clenching on a square. This is basic geometry, boom, folks. Boom, I got an A in geometry. Just, just saying, just saying. I did too, and I got no A's in any other math, so. Just trust us. Cigar people, they get geometry. Padron cigars almost exclusively come in a box press. For some manufacturers, they love a box press. The next probably most popular shape distinction you'll see is the torpedo. Now the torpedo, it is essentially a tapered crown of the cigar. So instead of having the three caps at the top of the cigar that you cut off, you're gonna have this torpedo shape at the back. Some people just prefer the torpedo mouthfeel. It does offer some benefits for cutting. So you could cut it very small, and if the draw is too tight, you could just cut it a little bit wider very simply, and you don't have to worry about the caps coming off as regularly. However, it is quite common, at least in my experience, for you to get plugged torpedoes. Also, torpedoes take up more room in your humidor. I'm not the world's biggest fan of torpedoes, but, you know, to each his own. Typically, when you go to a online cigar distributor or a brick and mortar shop, and if it says torpedo, that typically means it's about a Toro in size, so six inches, maybe six and a half inches long and it has a uh, pointed tip, like a bellicoso tip. Which yeah. brings us to, what's a bellicoso? Oh, you mean almost the same thing. This has got a torpedo tip, this has got a bellicoso tip, but you can see they're essentially the same. What's a perfecto, Gavin? I have one right here. A perfecto is a football-shaped cigar, so it starts pointy, ends pointy, and it's thick in the middle. The blend is filler leaves, a binder leaf, and a wrapper leaf. If you change the ratio of wrapper leaf to filler leaf, then you're gonna change the flavor profile. When you have a bellicoso, I mean, when you have a, what are we talking about? <laughs> perfecto. <laughs> when you have a perfecto, as you smoke it, that ratio of wrapper to filler is actually gonna change as you get down. So you're building in some flavor transitions. So it's a sneaky way to make this cigar taste more complex. You might run into some draw issues because it's gonna start narrow and then open up, but to each his own. Famously in Roger Rabbit, the baby was smoking a Perfecto at the beginning. <laughs> baby Huey. Talk about a pull right there. Talk <laughs> about a movie pull. Last but not least, the Presidente. Uh, uncommon shape is a cigar that has a perfecto like crown or a torpedo like crown that comes to a point but then on the end it also tapers down to a very small point it makes it a lot easier to light than a standard parejo cigar when i first cut my cigar and then i tested the draw it was a little bit tight and i was almost about to snip it a second time but then i remembered the presidente tip at first when you light it it will quickly burn and then expand and then your draw will loosen up. Um, so let's wrap this up with, hey Gavin, what's your favorite cigar size and shape? So my favorite size typically is a Toro. It's not too short, not too long. Sometimes I smoke a Robusto and it's delicious and I just don't want it to end. And sometimes I smoke a Churchill and it's delicious, but you know, I got stuff to do. Toro's right in the middle. And if I can't smoke for an hour and a half, I'll probably just smoke my pipe or a small cigar or just not smoke at all. How about you, Garrett? What's your favorite cigar shape? There we go. <laughs> Picking up what I'm putting down. I'm glad you asked there, Gavin. Um, I would say, like, what are we, twins or something? Something like that. Yeah, the Toro is probably my favorite, but also I do like the box pressed the most. A box pressed Toro sounds like a uh, winner winner chicken dinner, you know? If I'm trying to get a girlfriend, 
He's been trying to get a girlfriend a while. It's been a long while. I'm trying to keep one. Trying to keep his Trying to keep my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. If I'm trying to get a girlfriend, I'll probably go with the Perfecto. Why? It looks a little bit fancy. It looks a little bit more elegant. Being the smaller size, it's maybe less um, less loud and brash. I don't need a lifted truck. I just need a good truck. A personal shout out and thank you to AJ Hodge or AJ Hoge. What do you think? Is it Hodge or Hoge, Garrett? Garrett's going with he doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. Hodge or Hoge? You I'm gonna know? say I'm gonna say Hoge. Okay, AJ Hoge, also known as AJ Hodge. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some whiskey. Let's cheers to him. Okay, okay. Cheers to uh, AJ Hodge or Hoge, making it all possible. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to drop in the comments what you guys want to see us uh, film next. We will do our best to get to it. It takes us a long time. Maybe you've noticed, but we're doing our best. Also, what is your favorite cigar shape and why? Mm. And why are other people's favorite cigar shapes wrong? We get a lot of <laughs> debate going in there. Yeah, Heated yeah. debate. Yeah.